Yo, 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 what's up, beautiful soul? So, yo, so I basically had an appointment today and missed it, but <laughs> that's ain't even what happened. So check this out. So years ago, I was addicted to crystal meth. I was addicted to anything because I was homeless. My parents left me homeless. And so I went to Hollywood and these producers got me drugged up. Woo -woo. After that, it was done. Like, I just was like, you know, oh, this this keep you numb. Woo -woo -wham. So I knew I needed to heal. So I was hearing these voices. Woo -wham -wham, and now I know it was real spirit. Right. So. um, So then I noticed that I got put into this place called the domiciliary, which is. Um, I was housed. I had to be sober for like eight months. I had to endure being controlled and doped up with a whole bunch of meds. Like, it's like some meds that keep you like, you know what I'm saying? And, but underneath all this, underneath the exterior of this, I lost who I was. So for years... I've been on this gabapentin, numb through the whole fucking day, not able to wake up and like a normal person, just, right? And then it got me addicted to smoking weed, right? Then they gave me this Wellbutrin, which it, it, it does something to the chemical imbalance in the brain, right? To where your... It, it gives you the side effects like crystal meth. It's like, it keeps you like this. I literally took the drug to work out in the gym years ago. I used to just take it. These drugs are just like weed. Okay. So before coming out to LA, I stopped. I mean, well, way before coming out here, I God told me I needed to stop doing anything that I am codependent upon because I needed to heal at a core soul level and these things these codependencies these drugs and all this stuff was keeping me from healing it's keeping this toxic core and I'm unable to let go of people I'm unable to react appropriately you thinking because I'm on some meds that the VA gave to me I would be more alert, um, handle situations better. No, I was um, fighting motherfuckers still. I was still not acting as I should as a child of God and as a chosen one of God, which I was put in a, I was put in a box. So when these folks hear voices, you, you talk to, I was like, I told them for years, I talked to God. To them, I'm crazy. So they pumping me with, with volume, locking me up, all types of crazy shit because of all the things that I've been through in my life, being um, being abused, beat, talked about, told I was less than, getting the military, same stuff, shit that is not for an earth angel, right? Um, so being a nice guy in my life, I've always been mishandled. Being date raped in the military, being raped by a man in the military. And the best thing that y'all could do for me is put me on drugs and numb me. So all these years, I'm like, either I'm on drugs or I'm on VA drugs. Either I'm on drugs. No, ma'am. No more, baby. Okay. So... Today, she's like, do you have your, um, do you have your psych meds and stuff like that? I said, well, let me keep it a buck with you. I said, God told me that I need to stop taking the Wellbutrin because I'm unable to heal the pain of my flesh at a core level. So I will not be able to lead a flock properly. So I, I will not be taking no Wellbutrin. Well, how are these voices are you sure they're not from a no? I am an earth angel. My voices are spirits, are angels, are ancestors. Okay. And then, so, so then I said, I was in the, the Gabapit and then I told her about the Wellbutrin. 
every if I stop taking that, I go on a, a mental breakdown. Everything comes back, and then you're like, oh, I'm depressed. I'm over. No, baby. I cannot lead a flock or help nobody on no type of drug. Okay? And then she's like, and then I was like, the gabapentin is just like weed. So you don't want to do nothing. You're not about to do nothing. You so how are you helping me? She she on the phone, and you know what I do, so I can see right through her. I can I can see right through her soul. So I was like, you got a mother coming through for you, and um she's sending you love, and um, you know, I'm seeing two dogs. I don't know if you had two dogs or if whatever, whatever, but I'm seeing two dogs. And I don't know if you go on a girl's trip. I heard girl's trip, so I don't know if you're going on a girl's trip or if you're about to go. Well, whatever. We will. So she was like, what's your address or where you stay at now? Do you need I said, no, I don't need no assistance. And I was like, um, I was like, I really don't want to give y'all my new address. Because I don't know who worked for the VA. And if it's anybody <laughs> That that you that abuse their job, baby. I don't want them to know where I live at. Um, hashtag, um, baby girl. I don't. You know what I'm saying. I ain't want to say no name, so I'm just gonna keep it at that. People like they nosy and they 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 want to know more about you and they go into your records and all types of shit, so they know where you live at. Mm mm. Mm mm. Baby, them Sterlings is not about to find me. Um, anyway, so my point here is to say, then she was on the phone and she was like, she said, so these voices, well, baby, I am a 144,000. I talk to spirit. I am a healer. Okay, period. I'm not crazy, baby. If anybody, y'all crazy. <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. You feel me? Y'all trying to put me on. Me well, you sure you don't want to come to the appointment and get this medicine? No. No. You can write what you want to write in that report. But let me say, I'm more normal than most. Because y'all lost. They lost. Okay? I had to explain to her. I said, so you want my... So I, I decided to humor her. You want my um website? So you can check out my website. She like, um, she's like, um, yeah. So it took her like, you know, you could tell a motherfucker that write it down, but didn't really write it down. I said, I said, you know what? I can't, I, but I sensed in her spirit that she's she's talking to me like I'm a patient. Like I'm like I'm slow or something. But you will see me. Okay? You will see me. Okay? I told her, I said, don't talk to me like you just, you want to hear me talk, but you really don't give a fuck. I don't like that. Every time I come to this, come to these VAs, it's some all oh, off energy. I, I did have an amazing part though, but I'm going to tell you after this. So she was like, I was like, don't tell me what you think I want to hear. Don't don't lie to me. If you want to ask me for my website, don't say, yeah. And then, bitch, you ain't jot down nothing. Politely say, no, thank you. And then she's like, well, I don't know if I'm able. I said, you're not about to take down. I said, you're not about to access my website. She said, uh, 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 uh. well, I was like, yeah, because your spirit told me that you was a fucking liar. Okay. I said, don't tell me what you think I want to hear. Okay. Well, you know, it's just the website might allow, allow me. At, no, you, you're not. You're not you just what you do, what you don't do as a social worker and as a psychiatrist and therapist is blow smoke a motherfuckers asses thinking that you're helping and healing them. No, you're adding to the problem. Because somebody made you a victim who made you make lie to people to make them feel good. That's fake energy, right? So I told her, I said, you know what? I won't be coming to no appointment. I said, I said, you know what? I said, um, mm -mm. I said, but 
you know, I'll probably take some gabapentin to sleep or whatever. But then I thought about it. No. Because I got work to do. Okay. But the blessing was before I even got into it with this um, woman. The lady in the other building, she was like, when's your birthday? It was a, I went in that building on accident because I didn't know I was supposed to go. She like, um, she like, oh my God, we got the same birthday. So that was spirit preparing me for the naysayers. Y'all go ahead, write some prescriptions. Y'all keeping all these people trapped in their own flesh so they're unable to be the best version of themselves. So let's just pump them full of drugs. This was the place that pumped me full of drugs instead of addressing the issues. That I've watched them sit there and judge these veterans and not help them at a core level. Not okay. I got work to do. And to that queen that had the same birthday, that made, that made me smile. That made me happy. I love that. I, I just had to keep it a buck with y'all. Keep it real. It ain't mess up my day. I'm still about to have a beautiful day. But for all y'all that's been through shit, first of all, I ain't even a drug person. I was just lonely and needed friends and people that, even if it was fake love, and they had drugs. I It was love. I'm going to keep it real. But it was wrong. And it, and it suppressed who God is intending me to be. But baby, I'm on track. Haters. Period. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to have this conversation because something needs to be said and done. Everybody don't need to just be pumped full of drugs. Stop pumping people full of prescription meds so they're unable to heal at a soul core level. You're suppressing the pain so they, they're not able to deal with it so that they're not able to evolve to be a vessel for God. Your body, that's part of evolving. Your body is supposed to handle things Head on, deal with them. If you die, kill yourself, that ultimately turns into a personal problem, okay? Okay, but if you're strong enough, you will combat these issues with the grace of God and with faith and hope and determination, okay? Without prescription meds and you will make it. In this lifetime, in next lifetime, no. Do not conform to the fleshly way of healing the soul. It's healing the surface. And it's still hurting your core. Your soul plexus. Baby I say no to prescription meds. And to street drugs. They're all the same shit. Okay. Say no. No. No me gusta. I love y'all. Namaste.